here we are. I'm going to pull a few cards for today and see what comes up. I'm kind of tired. I don't know if I'm in the mood to read. Amazon Prime, but not for us. <laughs> Okay, let's pull three cards from this deck. This is the Illuminati Tarot. Here, this one, this one, this one. Uh, came up reversed. It is strength. Here's the pretty card when it's standing up like it's supposed to be. This is also connected to the astrological sign Leo, and there's only a few of these that I remember because I am a tarot reader and not an astrologist. So, so you know, there's just a few that I remember. And when I do readings, I don't generally try to connect all my cards to um, astrological signs. When people do these larger readings, and they're laying a lot of cards out, and oh, this could be this sign, it could be this sign or this sign, and they go on and on and on. By the time they get like 30 cards laid out, they've named every sign there is. So virtually it could be any sign. So take it with a grain of salt. You have to take your first impressions from a card. Um, for those who are new to tarot reading or would like to read tarot cards or learn how, there's a feeling, an instinct, there's a thought, a memory, a color, um, something that comes to mind when you view the image on a card. You've got to take to heart whatever it is that comes to you first because that's your message. It doesn't matter what anyone else tells you this card means or it doesn't matter what the traditional meanings are. It's all about your intuition. The card is just a tool to, to help that psychic center in yourself click. And that's what the card does. This card is telling me right now, reverse, that something really important needs to be done. And some, something needs to be resolved. There needs to be a change made. Uh, there really is something important that needs to be done, and someone just doesn't have the strength to do it. Nope, it's like it's like too difficult, too difficult. Second card we get. Oh, okay. Um, this is like I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Um, I said, I'm going to have to let you in on this. Um, we just watched a tarot reading this morning where the strength card and the star were pulled. The star is a card connected to Aquarius. I just can't believe this. That's one of those other few that I remember. Um the odds of these two cards coming up for me in this reading right now after um, we just watched a reading together this morning and these two cards come up and they are significant. They are significant in a private way, but, uh, but it's just so weird. So now I have to try to pick up again on the energy for this reading, disregarding. Yes, disregarding uh, what I was watching this morning and this this really strange um, synchronistic drawing of the same two cards. So here we go. Besides Aquarius, considering what we got with the first card, someone might, someone might not be strong enough to do something they have to do to make an important change, but they're still hopeful or someone around them is still hopeful that they can do it. Either they're, they're hopeful themselves, can't talk today, either they're, they're hopeful themselves or someone around them is hopeful. You can do it, you'll get it done, you can do it, just stick with it. Okay. Third card for this group, Two of Pentacles. 
choices and balance. Sometimes the choices that we make will balance out our lives. And sometimes the choices that we make in our lives just throw a wrench in everything, don't they? Isn't that, isn't that sometimes how it works? We have traffic going by again. So what is somebody's, somebody is balancing between these two cards, between these two signs, there's a, there's a connection uh, and uh, a need for balance between all of this. So I'm going to go get another deck and I will pull three more cards, see where, where this is going. Okay. Well, let's pull some cards to clarify the strength card. What is it that someone's not strong enough to, to do? Oh, hi, baby. It's all right. It's all right. You're a good girl. Oh, you have a dirty mouth now, my dog. Okay, so show us. What, what does someone need some strength to do here? What is someone putting off? Can't face. Oh. Well, one thing someone is putting off is setting boundaries. <laughs> they set some boundaries up. You do. You set boundaries up and then, oops, there's a chink in the fence. And all of a sudden, it's like sheep breaking through a fence. And where one breaks through, the whole damn herd will come. And there you are. Your boundaries are or not. So that's one issue someone is having, is setting up boundaries. For the, the star, uh, someone's hopeful about something. So what is it you are hopeful about? What is it? Oh. You might be hopeful about overcoming a bad situation, overcoming betrayal uh, because this is the the ten of swords and this is this is the in the moment after tarot deck and this deck takes the traditional this deck takes the traditional images from the Rider white deck and it and they went on to let us see what happens in the moment after the moment after we see the picture on the traditional deck so this is like, and it looks like you're getting a helping hand. Yaha. Um, sorry, there was a message popped up on my screen. So, uh, so you're hopeful uh, that you can come up out of something that was an uncomfortable situation or a sense of betrayal. Um, 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 and I, a feeling of being stabbed in the back. And this could be any kind of scenario, workplace or relationship or family or um, something uniquely personal to you. And it also looks like you're hopeful you're going to have some help. And it looks like the universe is going to send you some help. There's going to be people to support you and bring you up out of that. And a third card for the Two of Pentacles. What is it we have to bring into balance? King of Pentacles. What we have to bring into balance is some stability. Wow, someone might be coming up out of something or experiencing, especially with those, with those weak boundaries, someone um, might have their sense of stability uprooted from time to time. You know, you don't really feel secure. It's like, it's like going to bed at night. And my partner always talks about this, going to bed at night with the doors unlocked and the front gate unlocked. And um, it's just a very exposed and vulnerable feeling. And that's what the Two of Pentacles is trying to have you put into balance, is a feeling of safety and stability. The question is, can this king do it? Can this king bring about the safety and stability that is desired through actions, through setting of boundaries, um, through um, help from outside sources? Okay, I'm going to pull one more card here, I think, just to just to put a final touch, a final word on this reading. One more card. One more card. What are you? Peek out at me. Show you. Show your face. 
show your face. No, this one. Nine of Pentacles. Oh. Uh, liking where you're at. This is the card of self-satisfaction and contentment. So I think this is kind of a confirmation that if you set your boundaries and you have the strength to do what needs to be done, if you remain hopeful but you accept help, and you look for stability and security, you'll wind up in this happy place. This is uh, the card of self-contentment. This is liking where you're at. And as we can see through all the cards that we drew, liking where you're at and liking yourself and being content with your life is a process and a journey. So that's it for now. And until next time, bye-bye.